So Beatles, Parliament, and democracy, what's the link? Westminster Hall, as you see here in this picture, has had 900 years of democracy. The hall was built by Rufus, the son of Will William the Conqueror, back in 1094. In 1393, King Richard II commissioned the roof, which is a fantastic uh, timber uh, hammer roof, which unfortunately was damaged and was replaced in uh, the 1830s. The hall is large, it's about 20 meters wide and 70 meters long, equivalent of uh, eight um, cricket pitches. The great, the good, and maybe the not so good have walked and processed in this hall. It is also the home of the Death Watch Beatles. During the years, the building has suffered damage. For example, the bombs that hit the roof on the 10th of May, 1941, exposed some of the timbers to the elements. And that, with the hot air generated from the very healthy democratic debates that take place in the adjoining houses, kind of creates condensation. Condensation helping to support the development of the Death Watch Beetle. Now, why is it called Death Watch Beetle? You need to go back in time to a time when majority of our houses had timber, especially oak, and a day when we really didn't have many antibiotics and more people succumbed to respiratory conditions in the spring and so that they would be sitting beside their loved ones who were suffering. And as they were sitting there, they would hear the characteristic noise of the Death Watch beetle. This is the beetle here. It's about 1.5 centimeters long. The male emerges and lives for about two weeks. And in that two-week period, he's got to catch a mate. And he catches his mate by banging his head against the wood. <laughs> and the female responds to the male that has the biggest noise. So you get this characteristic. So people would hear the beetles at night. And that's the association with death watch beetle. So after mating, the female goes off, she lays her eggs on the timber frames, the eggs hatch, the larvae then go into the wood. And what you'll see on the wood is the characteristic holes here. They're the emergence holes. But you turn that bit of wood round and you can see the extensive damage done by the beetle larvae that can actually take about 12 years to develop. So what you've got is on one side often something that can look like good solid timber. But if I turn that upside down and shake it a bit, you can see here it's actually converted to oak dust. Or to be a little bit more scientific, insect fraz or insect poo. Now, why is a scientist from the Royal Botanic Gardens involved in beetles in Westminster? Well, English heritage came to us and at Kew and our colleagues at Birkbeck College and asked us, could we please investigate how the beetles determine, because they normally feed on oak, how, they, how do they select the oak? And are there any new ways that can be involved to help control them? So we did a lot of surveys on different buildings, including Winchester Cathedral, Salisbury. And the main predator that we found that was very effective was spiders. And here we have a quandary. Could you see us being allowed to release thousands of spiders in the halls of Westminster? I think there'd be problems, and I think we'd have real problems with the cleaners. But what we have done is we have, during our research, we did come up 
with scientific evidence that could help um, develop new control methods. And that's one of the challenges, is to move from the, 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 the scientific to the practical. And it's very important that we do that to ensure that buildings like Westminster are there for democracy for the next 900 years. Thank you.